Howdy, hey everybody, my name is Silver Knight. I am coming into the world of Guild Wars 2 from the perspective of a long-time World of Warcraft player. This series chronicles my journey through the world of Tyria, which I did actually kind of have to look up because I kind of didn't know the name of the world, but you know, the more you know. And all of its bumbling, falling off cliffs and getting killed in incredibly stupid ways glory. I hope you enjoy. Yo, 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 and ho, 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 and all of that shenanigan, Ray. Hi. I'm festive. And yes, I own this hat, by the way. It's actually surprisingly comfy, though, uh, slightly less so considering that it's, like, 80 degrees in Texas today, which is stupid. Yay, climate change and all that shit. Okay, hold up. Mr. Mr. Hat, you need to kind of stay out of my way. You know what's funny is I used to wear Santa hats every day to work from Black Friday until, you know, through, obviously through Christmas. We weren't open on Christmas. Um, it was a reminder that I am not allowed to kill people. Uh, Santa frowns upon homicide. I have something like, like six or seven Santa hats somewhere around and I can never figure out where they are. Oh, that's not true. I do know where one of the hats are. It was a homemade thing. Um, and it's actually really nicely made, but because it's homemade and it's, excuse me, it's a few hours old, or a few hours, a few years old, uh, it's starting to yellow a little bit and I'm kind of concerned about how to clean it without damaging it. So short of dry cleaning it, see, look, I cleaned out my inventory. I also rejiggered some stuff here a little bit. I actually looked at things. I, I finally had, I finally had... Like, actual legit time to just relax and just look at stuff and really, like, dig into comments and stuff like that and all that good shenanigans. So thank you all for uh, your comments and your feedback and uh, all the little tidbits and information to try and make my gaming experience a little bit better. I am currently, as you can see, like, a little over 12% or so into 79. I'm on the, the actual home stretch before 80 not that it necessarily matters, because that's apparently when the whole game opens up, which is cool. Uh, but I, I do want to make a point of mentioning that, uh, at least for anybody watching this on the YouTube side of things, I'm probably going to be going back to a more balanced schedule. Uh, and now I can think it's a part of a balanced breakfast and I just see Cheerios in my head, because of course I do. But uh, let me scoot this down a little bit so that way I'm not popping quite as much. Um... But uh, I'm probably going to be going to a more balanced YouTube schedule because, really? I mean, I, I, I love me some Guild Wars too. It's a lot of fun. I like it. But trying to maintain and upload literally every single day means that I kind of can't play other things. I mean, like, I can, but also, you know, like, <laughs> man, I've got like an hour or two max a day to really sit down and dedicate to something like this. And right now it's like, and I mean to be, it, it's been generally okay because I haven't really had a chance to have much of anything else set up, but I think I've finally gotten uh, other things set up. So at this point, I think I am in a position where I can finally start doing other uploads again. And as much as I, I do love me some Guild Wars 2, man, I can't be a mono gamer anymore. Like my, my attempts at mono gaming WoW for... And thinking back upon it, I actually don't really think I super mono gamed WoW either. I mean, like I would crack out to it for, you know, a couple of months here or there, even like way, way back when. But even then, you know, I would still dabble in Final Fantasy XI. Um, you know, I would dabble in, you know, Warhammer Online. I would dabble in uh, Ion and, you know, single player RPGs. Not all that often, but I would dabble in other games because, man, like... Playing one game, like, all day, every day, it, it, it burns you out super quick. And my sort of falling off of the uh, the WoW wagon recently, because I actually started kind of... Because I, I still got active time left on there, so I find, decided to sort of jump in and, you know, do things. But then, uh, jungle lumber. Okay. And by the way, yes, there is Christmas music in the background. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it because I'm playing literally on Christmas Day, so 
you know, ho 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 and all that shaz. <clears throat> This. I look like I'm a five-year-old wearing this. Like, you guys, do I look as ridiculous as you guys think? Do you guys think I look as ridiculous as I think I look right now? This is a surprisingly big hat, I'm gonna be real with you. I can actually see decently well, but at the same time, um, I look like a five-year-old, so. Okay. We're gonna go to go to Tapish Town because we typically don't go there when we do Maguma Jungle stuff. But um it'd be my luck that I'm gonna end up getting 80 by doing the same thing I've been doing for the last like month and a half, which is just running dailies and just kind of calling a good A. Hey. Hello, Mr. Eku Sapling. But uh, you know, I, I fell off the wild wagon a couple of days ago. And as I mentioned, like I miss the game. There's just something about the combat and the way the game feels that it's just Nor the game, no matter how good it is, feels quite like it. And it's kind of hard to explain. If WoW never grabbed you, then you're not going to understand what the hell I'm talking about. But if WoW ever grabbed you, I think you might understand what I'm talking about. Just something about the way the game plays. Something about the way the buttons feel to press them, if that makes any sense. And it probably doesn't, but... Excuse me, Mr. Jungle Tiger. See, I even swapped out my derpy druid because I actually looked at that and I'm like, oh wow, holy shit, that actually is, like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of crit chance on, like, a very short cooldown, so that's actually super sweet. I'm still probably going to drop out the derpy druid every so often, but I, I gotta, I gotta admit that is, that's, that's pretty, so, that's pretty sexy. That is pretty sextacular. Um, cool, okay, I need one, oh wow, I've already almost completed it, okay. Hey, cool. But yeah, I also redid my build a little bit. Uh, because I actually started looking at the different synergies and different, you know, I like setting things on fire. And in, in the game, not in real life, in the game. Okay, be clear. All right, I am not condoning arson. Unless you just want to light some candles or something. Uh, yes, please and thank you. Gimme, thank you. Okay, actually, the hat is kind of making this thing. If I take this off, will it make it easier to look at? It's it's more blue. It's definitely... By the way, I don't actually really wear glasses. These are... I don't know if y'all can see it. These are like the blue light filter glasses. So, it just makes my eyes hurt less if I stare at the screen for long periods of time. Also, I look decidedly more nerdy with them on, so, you know, there's that. But, uh, back to what I was saying before, that, um, you know, falling off the WoW wagon again. I'm like, it's, it's nice to play. It, it feels really nice to play, but it's also, like, you know, I, there, there's no way I could, like, mono game it again. There's no way I could, even if I wanted to dedicate that much time, there's, there's no way I just, I just reasonably could not. And beyond that, it's just, like, Variety is the spice of life, bro. You know, it's nice to be able to play WoW you know, on a day off, because I actually did play WoW for a couple of hours um, before looking into all of the Guild Wars 2 stuff, and it was nice. Like, in all honesty, it was nice to be able to jump into WoW for a couple of hours, do a couple of things, you know, make it a little love, get down to night, da 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 um, But it was also nice to log out and then log into Guild Wars 2 and then do a little bit of inventory management and do a little bit of research and try to understand what the hell some of these things mean. Like, I feel stupid reading this. Do you know how long it took me to read that and understand that it's like, when I'm below 75% health, this skill just auto, just, just auto does its thing? You know how long it took for me to understand that that's, it was just an auto cast at 75% health? I thought it was something, like, I was trying to drag it onto my bar. I was trying to see if I could, like, swap out, like, the, you know, the symbol for this one. I was like, I don't understand what I'm reading. I'm dumb. But all I'm saying is that the tooltips and, and Guild Wars 2, and, and, and I know it's just because it's a completely different system. The tooltips in Guild Wars 2 were not always like the simplest to immediately understand until you get used to their way of like writing things you know 
I mean, it makes sense now looking at that. It's like, like yeah, when you hit below 75% health, this spell, you know, this spell fires off. But at the same time, I was thinking that, you know, I remember that being a spell with another weapon. So I was thinking that maybe, like, did I have to equip a weapon? You know, I mean, does it actually work with, um, with a hammer sort of thing? Protected. So at this point, I don't know. Also, I changed this thing out. This is actually... It's actually pretty sweet. I think that is... That is... How the fuck did I get that? Here it is. Yeah, because it was either use that or I think before I had... Strike damage dealt is increased after activating a virtue, so that gives me 10% damage. And I'm assuming when they're talking about strike damage, they're talking about just like auto attacks, right? Or just like your... Just any damage you do with any of these, so long as it's not like, you know, a ward or whatever. It's basically just like your your main like whack whack sort of ability. So basically your auto attack ability goes up after activating virtue, which took me a minute to understand that's these things down here. Look, I, I realize that I'm <laughs> knocking on the door of level 80, uh, which means that I am uber noob, but there's just the, the freezings still take a moment for me to try and understand just what the hell they're talking about. I probably should just try reading the tooltip at any point, but, you know, that's- Oh! There is someone I must save! Maybe. I was really hoping that this music would be a little bit more cheerful than this. Hold up. You lose. I will heal you, good sir. I will be good player. I will be nice person. Protected. I don't know how to heal you. I'm sorry. Yay! Hello. That was fun. But I was hoping this music would be a little bit more upbeat. This is literally, I think, just all piano pieces. Granted, uh, let me see if I can... Hold on, let me see if I can... Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, that's definitely not gonna happen. Uh... I don't think that showed anything meaningful. I was actually trying to show... Basically, there's, there's one of those live Christmas music fireplace things. Sort of dealio. Oh, here we go. Let's try this one. There we go. That's better, I think. That's more what I'm looking for. This is smooth jazz, so that's good. Alright. You might be someone that is tired of hearing Christmas music. If you've worked in retail, you're probably just like, I'm so tired of hearing this. And I feel you. But it's freaking Christmas. This is like the one day where I'm like, you know what? I can... Actually, no, that's not true. I actually freaking love Christmas music. And retail has gotten very close to making me not love Christmas music. But I still love it, damn it. Oh, yeah. Uh, quite a Vista viewer. Right, uh is here. No, I haven't done this one. I like this version. Yes. I'm gonna do a little bit of Crita Vista viewing. And this will likely be one of the last, uh, the last dailies I do prior to 80, I think. Ah, shh. Okay, so that's right. You're up around in a corner. Okay, that's fair. Oop. Now if I can remember how the hell I got up here. Definitely not that way. The fun's over here. No, it's not. You can finally fuck off, good sir. There it is. I knew that. I knew this was the way up. That was my next guess.
be honest, this music actually works pretty well with this area, if I'm gonna be honest with you. So how y'all doing tonight, anyway? Y'all have good Christmases? If you don't celebrate Christmas, did you have a good, restful day since a lot of places are closed for Christmas? Hey, do you know why the soldiers are here? Did you partake in thine gift-giving? Did you get something sweet for it? Me, I got, uh, I got cheesecake. I got cheesecake for Christmas, and you know what? That is probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten for Christmas, because cheesecake is amazing. People who don't like cheesecake, I just, I don't understand you. I understand if you're lactose intolerant, you don't really have a choice in the matter, but, like, just willingly not liking cheesecake, I just, I just don't get it. Well, thank you, Ronan. I appreciate that. You're probably one of the first people to say that you you, you found me through Dragon Forest. Um, I'm I'm glad you enjoy it. And I was actually uh, I was actually recording an episode for Dragon Force Two yesterday. As a matter of fact, uh, I was trying to record a few episodes, but I also kind of have to juggle. Um, well, once I actually get the episode released, you'll like. I don't know if it's because of the move or if it's just because the hardware is getting old or you know I'm just bad, but. My Sega Saturn may or may not be possessed by Satan, um, and it just has this nagging tendency to j just not want to load. Like with the uh, with the pseudo Saturn I have in the back, it just doesn't. Just sometimes decides it wants to freeze. So, uh, so that that hour long episode probably took closer to like two and a half hours to actually do. Um, and I think at the end of that episode, I actually only got one episode done, and I didn't even finish the turn because I was just like, I I need to use the restroom. And also, my roommate is home, and I feel weird just sitting in the living room talking to myself. It's one thing if I'm in my room by myself, but like in a shared space, I just I just feel weird, sort of deal. It feels like I'd be ignoring somebody. Um, but I need to get a couple of other episodes of that done. Uh, I did get some component cables for my uh, for my Sega Saturn. Actually, actually, what's funny is I got uh, component cables for Sega Saturn, uh, uh, PS1, and PS2. As a matter of fact. Uh, Problem is, I actually ended up, uh, I actually ended up trading in my PS1, my PS2, and my Dreamcast, uh, right before Christmas, just because when I was finally getting everything packed up and ready to go, uh, not packed up, but everything, like, oh, sweet Jesus, don't kill me, there we go. Getting everything set up and ready to go so I can get all of my capture and streaming software, all that stuff ready to go. You are a, you are a big dog. Alone in the world is a little rock dog. Ow. But, uh, words, where to go? Uh, I had had everything set up, and then I realized, I was like, oh, this is, oh, my streaming setup's not, oh, my Agato's not captured. Oh, I have no, uh, I have no plugs. Oh, I have no plugs, and I don't have everything plugged in at this point. Oh, that's, that's highly unfortunate. Uh, so I actually just straight up don't have, uh, the plugs I need to get all my systems set up, and rather than just have them sitting in boxes, I was just like, fuck it, and just... Just traded them in so I can get get some room and then use that towards uh, a couple of extra games that I would actually play. And besides, I mean, it's like, even if I don't have the systems, I have a PS3 so all my PS1 games can play on it natively. And of the, like, two PS games I actually have, you know, Dreamcast, which I did not trade in games for because, like, fuck that, they're worth way more money than, you know, what, like, a local game shop would give me. Um... But, uh, words, where do they go? Where do they go? That person is very shiny and I got very distracted. That is a very, that is a very shiny Norn. That is a Norn, right? Or is that a human? I can't tell. I don't know. I feel like I'm somehow being passively racist. Um. But, uh, you know, I have a freaking gaming PC sitting out there. I can just emulate the systems if need be, because it's not like Dreamcast emulation is necessarily super difficult, so... I think I should be able to make do with it. Hello, Cheetah Spot. How are you doing tonight? Play DF2, I yeah, use a Saturn original, so sadly no emulator. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I actually, uh, playing Dragon Force 2 on, on the original hardware. I just have the, uh, one of those little pseudo-Saturn carts that lets you play, um, like, backups and stuff like that. So I actually have, like, I, I have the actual, it's not even, like, you know, I'm actually not even pirating this. I actually have the legit copy of Dragon Force 2 
uh, that I I ripped the uh, the ISO from or the Bing Q file from, and then attach the uh, English patch to it, burn it back onto a disc, and I'm playing it through that. So I'm actually playing it on hardware. Um, and I actually want to get back to. Maybe later, sir. But uh. How do I get to you, Mr. Vista? But uh, I actually do want to get a proper Dragon Force 1 playthrough do going at some point as well. I just want to, like, like I was saying earlier, I've only got, I've got like an hour or two a day, maybe, if that, to dedicate towards any sort of video making, and like the past two months have just been, like, really exhausting, so I apologize if I've seemed low energy or if I've missed a few days in uploading. I mean, I deliberately didn't upload today because it's Christmas. Um, but, uh... How? Oh, now, brown cow. How does one get to you, sir? But, uh... You know, I would like to... Now that things are hopefully aiming to calm down pretty soon, uh, I would like to get back to some streaming schedule. But now that I have everything set up, I think I'll be able to. I just, you know, need to actually do it, so to say. I promise a painful end. And yes, Merry Christmas to all and stuffs and things and whatnots. This is actually surprisingly, like... I got this for $5 at Party City, and it's actually a surprise... A, just a random present. Just, just chilling. Santa's just like, come here, bitch. What's uh? I got this for five dollars at Party City. I mean, they had the cheapy one dollar ones, but those, if you've ever worn the one dollar hats, they are exceptionally uncomfortable. This thing, I mean, it's five bucks, but it's actually surprisingly durable for like a five dollar hat. It's actually got like a faux velvet thing going on. It's actually very soft. Very soft and fluffy. So this actually doesn't really bother me to wear it, which is nice because if it bothered me, I wouldn't be wearing it. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, well, I'm... Hair in face. Hair in face. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you're awake for one of my streams. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Like, this was kind of impromptu. I wanted to do it a little bit earlier and then... Uh, I got distracted by shiny objects and free food, so, like, I don't know if I can necessarily eat it now, but I had, um, my roommate's, uh, pseudo-not-really-in-laws sort of thing, um, they brought over leftovers from their Christmas dinner because they cooked way too much of it, so they were nice enough to actually... It, I did literally nothing except walk fast, but thank you, thank you, game. What's up? Excuse me. Oh, you know what? The glacial wall looks really freaking cool looking. I will say, I think it has a... Does it have a longer recast time, though? No, it does not. Okay. That's, uh, words and sentence structures. But yeah, all things being equal, you know... It's actually been a pretty, pretty decent day so far. Uh... But I'm glad you're all able to stop by. I really don't know how long the stream is going to go. Like I said, I wanted to start it earlier. I got distracted by food because I was given free food and yay, free food. Uh, I will totally... I'm not going to say no to free food, including cookies. They gave us cookies. I like cookies. Cookies are fun. It's always a good thing. Free food is always a good thing. Especially when it's, you know... The big hearty stuff, you know, I mean, basically... It, excuse me. That actually does work. Something gives me fury after... I think it's like after... I, I don't know, one of these, one of these talents I got gives me, I think, fury. I, I've already forgotten, but I actually rejiggered some stuff over here to try and make it, you know, less spastic looking. See, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm not doing a very good, 
you know, diligent job of it, but I am trying to learn. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a ways before I can- okay, I'm not actually trying to kill you, but you're kind of like in my way and I get the feeling that you're just going to attack me if I run past anyway, so, you know, preemptive and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, as far as my like YouTube schedule stuff is gonna go, it's probably gonna end up being a little bit more, uh, where is, where did they go? More the way I had it before, where it was kind of a mix of variety between a few different games, so that way, one, I can give myself more time to, to put Guild Wars stuff out there. Because right now, like, you know, because I like the game, but I've basically been playing it, like, every day for the past few months, which is good, I, because I'm enjoying it. I'm not really playing it, you know, out of a undue sense of obligation or anything like that, but I, I can already tell for myself that it's getting to the point where if I were to continue doing the uploading YouTube every single day, the amount I would have to play it to necessitate maintaining that sort of daily content schedule means that I would burn out of it very quickly. And I, I don't, it sounds silly, but I actually don't want to burn out of this game because it's a good game and I want to continue playing it, so I need to pace myself. So basically for my own sanity, I kind of need to swap to a couple of different games and make it more variety focused so that way I can, you know, preserve the joy and wonder of kind of wandering around this game and also to on a not more realistic note that's not the one i'm looking for on a more excuse me sir excuse me sir Protected. you were being quite disruptive sir thank you i just wanted the what excuse me sir Doink. Oh, there was also somebody that said a few times, well, not said a few times, but he, uh, he or she or they said over my, uh, one of the comments, they're like, please stop selling these things. Like, they have you, well, then there's like a part of me, it sounds terrible, but there is a small part of me that wants to keep one or two of these and just sell them at the, the TP, <laughs> sell them at the trading post. I, I, can't, I can't say TP, my face, dude, I just can't do it. Um just wants to sell one of these at the trading post specifically to trigger people. Not that I disagree, I understand what they're saying, but I am an incredibly spiteful human being, so when someone's like, hey, you need to stop doing this, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, did you tell me to keep doing it more? Because I'll totally do that, thank you. Specifically because I know it angers them. I'm not saying I'm a nice person. This is why I'm wearing the Santa hat, because it's a reminder that I'm not allowed to kill people, okay? That's literally why I wear this during peak season. It was going to be more than that, but I got distracted by trying to understand what that was and then realized it was an onion. And I'm like, that is a... Was that a pepper? What the hell did I pick up? I... I whatever. It can't be that important. Uh, whatever vegetable that was just looked very strange and my brain was trying to parse what the hell I was looking at. Excuse me, sir. Why does this feel like this hits less hard than the other one does. I know that's not the case. I'm pretty sure it actually hits harder than the regular- Excuse me, sir? Really? I do. What are you doing, my man? Come here. Come here. You, you got better things to do, my dude. Oh, I have no idea what that is, but that's cool. I know that's one of the talents I picked, but I honestly can't remember what it is. Hopefully it's not important. But, uh, so yeah, it's going to be more variety focused, but also, oh yeah, that's what I was saying on a more like, you know, logistical note, having that sort of variety means that I have a little bit more time off screen to do things like inventory maintenance and really look at notes and for the lack of a better term, research and try to have like a better off-screen understanding of what's going on instead of having to- like, because I don't know if y'all have ever streamed before, and I don't know if it's not necessarily a me thing or what have you, but you know, I do feel some measure of responsibility to be at least mildly entertaining while doing this. If I was just sitting here, you know, gaming the way that I would game by myself, I mean, honestly, I'd be talking to myself anyway because that's, like, stream of consciousness. I, I kind of have to talk out loud. I have to think out loud in order to understand what I'm thinking a good quarter to a third of the time. But for the most part, I wouldn't really be 
running around trying to find things to do and, you know, talking with the mobs quite as much as I do, I would probably be... There would be a lot more frequent breaks of me stopping and looking and reading and, you know, comparing back and forth, which I have done on stream every so often. Um, but I try to keep it to a minimum because there's there's that sort of element of pacing. I want to try and keep it. I want every mount in this game. I'm not going to get it, but I just... I'm just saying. My, my inner mount whore is springing to life here. Uh, Snowden drifts... Uh huh. Something? Not any something. What? Are you, whatever you say, buddy. What's up? You know. What? What? What was I saying? <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Look, man, I'm I'm in like, I'm in pure like turkey coma territory right now. I had a gigantic plate full of food, um, and I did not have eggnog, but I did have tea, which I still have. Okay, which I still have more of. Oh, I am in straight, like, turkey coma territory right now. I am kind of sleepy, even though I, I legit should not be. Because I didn't get up until probably, like, 9 a.m. today. It's so amazing. Oh, there's- oh, that's right, they are skins. That's right, so it's- well, I'm- I'm going to be- to, so my- my inner mount whore is, is springing to life for the mount skins that I know I'm not gonna get. You know, I'm still farming for Invincible. Well, farming like I actually haven't really been doing and excuse me sir y'all need to just back up off my Cheerios I'm just trying to enjoy see how how perfect is this music Ex look I do protected But how, how appropriately festive. She looked like her head was turned on backwards there for a second. I was I was legitimately a little bit worried. Not super worried, but a little bit worried. Is that a gnome? Oh, that's just a bot, okay. Look, how dare you. But I, I can kind of feel my inner mount whore being like, ooh, I want all the things. I still haven't gotten invincible. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. I still haven't gotten invincible. I mean, I haven't really tried getting it in the past, like, year and some change, but... You know, I've been farming it since... 2010? So, you know, 10 years or so. 10 years or so of mount farming. No luck, no dice, better luck next time, etc, etc. I'm not salty by it at all. Memoron's head, I'm, I'm just convinced, does not exist. I'm just convinced that it doesn't exist. I literally know it does because I see people flying around to taunt me, bastards. But I am convinced that it does not exist. Huh. Okay. But this place feels very festive. It's very, you know, snow and cold and shit. So y'all get anything good for- I almost said Halloween. Y'all get anything good for Christmas? Y'all have a quiet celebration? Or a loud one? How y'all doing on this fine day slash evening? Oh, there's something over there. Ooh. Yo, you need to- there you go. Okay. Go down. I'm walking into a wall. That's probably not good. I helped the lion guard. Come on in, girl. It's time to get moving. Yes, indeed. It's time to get moving. Give me event subs. You. Also, I'm really bad at playing the game and reading chat at Over the same there. time. Good. Partially Go because, like, uh due in large part to the fact that usually I don't have to read chat for the most part uh because usually I'm just you know there ain't really a whole lot of people here to talk really son of a bitch okay I came in too late for the event that kind of sucks a little bit 
watching it makes me want to play my little all the tunes for map completion. Aw. Aw, well, I'm, I'm glad that my, my my newbiness has inspired you to play on alts and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So long as my bumbling brings joy to people, that's all I'm necessarily concerned about at this point, so... Any events that I wait at game. There's also a part of me that just can't really fathom that I'm literally just running around doing dailies and I've almost hit level cap just by doing stuff like this every day for like a month or two. For any of the little special doodlies on the map. Okay, so I get the feeling that means that there's somebody over here. If they have the little Mark and McDoodly do, what I have been able to figure out is that, generally speaking, there's something going on that I should be following. Again, I gotta give like massive big ups to the player base because they are generally very cooperative. You know, I haven't seen very much in the way of trolls. I'm sure they exist. I'm sure, like, your Lita Stryhard ass baskets exist. But they're not empowered the way you tend to see with World of Warcraft systems. And that's such a shame, because, like, that's the biggest, I think, the single biggest downfall. Everything in moderation, including moderation. Okay, so what are we doing? So what are we doing, lady? So what are we doing? Oh, y'all are invulnerable. That sucks. Okay. Okay. So what are we doing, lady? What is it we're trying to do? Oh, are they just getting ready for the event? Is that what's happening right now? But yeah, the biggest... The saddest thing about World of Warcraft isn't even necessarily the game design itself or the player base itself. It's that the game design seems to... Do you have a question? seems to empower like the worst elements I of its so player base to be the worst elements of its player base. There's no reason to not... Okay. So, let's see if there's a way I can do this without being just immediately... Without being immediately just murdered. So, got that 20% crit chance. I'm not using for anything currently, but that's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, so whatever that swiftness thing is, is actually pretty sweet. Okay. What's up, buddy? Uh, nope. Nope. I will have you know. I don't know what the green things are. I'm thinking that might be other players. I don't really know exactly. Iron ore. Excuse me. Oh come on, bro. Fury rising. Come on, dude. Really gotta go like this? Just one of the ore, man. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Well nice to meet you. Oh, do I have to turn the do I need to turn the capacitor off? Okay, so I'm guessing something involving capacitors is bad. Well, you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for stopping by. I really, really appreciate that. Glad you've been enjoying my stuff. It's it's really good to it's really good to hear that. This is pure chaos. And I'm not 100% certain I understand what's going on, but it seems like I'm doing things, so you know what? Am I supposed to be turning shit in? Hey, lady, am I supposed to be turning shit into you? Because this seems like I should be turning shit into you. What?
Yay. Teamwork. Quest morale. That is a very, very big scary man. So what does the lake capacitor do? What are we doing? I don't understand. Probably one of those I should be paying attention, but I'm not. Oh, do I just literally pick it up and then take it to this? I think that's how it works. Cool. Ooh. There's a chest. Here there be chesties? Justices? Did I did I get it? I think I got it. I think I got it. That's cool. Literally have no idea what just happened. But you know what? I mean if if that's the worst thing that happens to me when playing this game is that I succeed without knowing what the hell I did, then it's probably been a good day.